So let's go through step by step what we know about Euler circuits to determine the necessary conditions for, ha for a graph having an Euler circuit so that we can identify the characteristics of a graph that would have an Euler circuit and later an Euler path. Okay, so we know that for an Euler circuit we need to get begin at a particular vertex. Let's say, let's begin with a vertex A. And we know that we need to travel each edge exactly once. So from age, from, from the vertex A, we choose one edge incident with it, let's say the edge AB. So this edge contributes one to the degree of A. Next, we're going to continue to choose edges that are incident with the particular vertices. As we go through each vertex, we're going to choose a new edge that we haven't traversed before until we get back to a vertex A. So each time the circuit passes through a particular vertex, it's going to contribute 2 to the vertex, vertex's degree. So as we choose a new edge, right, it's going to contribute 1 degree to the vertex's leaving and contribute 1 degree to the vertex's it's ending at. So for each vertex, it will have 1 degree from the edge it, that's coming into it and one degree from the edge that's leaving it. Finally, after we've traveled all of the edges, we need to come back to our original vertex A. And so this provides that additional degree from the original degree we had of one for the edge that left that vertex A. So by coming back to A again, we know that the degree of A must be even. It will be at least 2 because the edge that we left A from contributed 1 to that degree, and the edge that we returned to A at the end of our circuit contributed another 1. So the degree of A is at least 2, as is each vertex in our graph. It could have an even degree higher than 2 depending on how many edges are incident with that vertex because we would need to traverse each of those edges exactly one time. So combining that with the previous characteristics we have identified, we can also conclude that the degree of every other vertex must also be even because every time we enter and leave that vertex through different edges, that contributes to a degree of 2. So every time we visit a vertex, it has degree 2, and we can visit that vertex as many times as needed, depending on the number of edges incident with it. Okay, so that tells us that every vertex in a graph with an Euler circuit has even degree. By the same reasoning, we set C that the initial vertex and the final vertex of an Euler path must have odd degree while all other vertices must have even degree, right? Because an Euler path is one where it starts and ends at a different vertex. Um, so each of those will have odd degree because we'll leave from the very first one and we will not come back to it again. Or if we do come back to it, we'll also have to leave again. Um, so that will have the first one will have odd degree and the last one will also have odd degree because we'll simply be coming into it um, one final time with that final edge that comes comes to it. So the first and last vertices of the Euler path will have odd degree where every other one in between will have even degree because each edge that contributes to it will contribute an even degree. So this can be summed up by the following theorem. A connecting multigraph with at least two vertices has an Euler circuit if and only if each of its vertices has an even degree, and it has an Euler path if and only if it has exactly two vertices of odd degree. So let's consider the following graph, which models the problem that we talked about when we first introduced the notion of Euler circuit and Euler path. So notice that, in fact, each of the vertices of this graph has odd degree. This one has degree 3, this one has degree 3, this one has degree 3, and this one has degree 5. So since it has at least one vertex with odd degree, right, not all of them have even degree, we know it does not have an Euler circuit, and so this is the reason that the answer to the Konigsberg bridge problem is in fact no. We can also conclude that 
this vertex has no Euler path because it has four vertices of odd degree, not just 